Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. So yeah, almost every time when I'm printing something, I feel like I'm also just printing out money because I'm just counting down the days until I have to replace the cartridges or refill the tank. But those days are gone because HP has sponsored this video for me to show you their new HP Never Stop Laser Printer. So this printer is cool because I'm gonna talk about, you know, different design elements and stuff like that in a second. But the main thing about this printer is that it saves you money when it comes to refilling the tank inside of this. And so this does have the world's first high capacity toner tank and out of the box you get enough toner inside of this that will allow you to print up to 5,000 pages, which is crazy. And I think HP says that's around seven times more than the competition. And so when you do go to buy this printer though, you will find that the price is going to be a little bit higher um, compared to other printers in the same type of category. But the focus of this printer is not what you're paying up front, it's what you're not going to be paying over the next few years as you own it. Because when it does come time to when you do need to refill this big tank inside of it, um, all you need to do is pick up one of these toner reload kits. Um, but this only costs $15.99, so 16 bucks. And so HP says that the average price for refills for a printer in this category can be between 40 and $60, which is a lot of money. But I did go to Amazon, and I don't think I can show you because of different branding and stuff like that, but you can go check out Amazon's website yourself, and you'll be able to see for yourself that their estimations were pretty good. Now, I did find some that were a little bit under um, that $40 price range, but I did also notice that most of those, um, you weren't getting the same amount of pages per reload. And the reload process is pretty simple. You just need to slide over this cover and then install insert the reload tube and then do a couple of twists and then now you can go ahead and refill that tank. Now I didn't come anywhere close to printing uh, the 5,000 pages that this printer comes with before I ne actually needed to reload it so I can't fully show you that but uh, the process does seem simple enough. And then also on the front of the printer you do have this um, indicator that will let you know how much toner that you have left so it's a nice little physical indicator there so you can see when you do need to actually refill. And each one of these reload kits will give you up to 2,500 more pages that that you can print so you will need two of these to fully refill this tank but even when you buy two of these you're not going to be spending nowhere near the amount of money over the long run when you compare it to some of the competition for this printer so yeah saving money is the best part of this printer but it's actually still just a really good printer too um, now this printer only does print in black and white and i honestly i've always purchased color printers for some reason but i never print anything in color so i'm fine with that and also at the top you do have this small lcd display and this is nothing as fancy as some of their other printers that HP offers, but it gets the job done, just really the basic information that you need. And then you also have some buttons on the top to be able to control different functions of the printer, like enabling scanning, and also turn on and off the wireless networking. And speaking of wireless networking, so yes, this does have Wi-Fi inside of it, and it also supports Wi-Fi direct printing, but also you can download the HP Smart app on like your phone or your computer. And then now this makes it really easy to get this printer set up in just a couple of minutes. And then also other people can, you know, log into this particular app and be able to print directly from their phone and and one cool thing about the phone app is that you can actually scan something with the camera on your phone and then now you'll be able to send that directly to the printer which can always be helpful if you're trying to scan like a document or something and this can print up to 21 pages per minute and this will be black and white pages as I mentioned before and then also the paper tray can hold up to 150 sheets of paper and I do like the fact that it does have a cover for it so if you have dust or lint or things flying around your office you don't have to worry about those landing on the paper and ruining things that you're trying to print. And this particular Never Stop model does allow you to copy and scan so you can lift that lid at the top and then get the scanning away if you want. Um, but if you do want to save a little bit more money, you can buy the version that only allows you to print if you don't need those extra needs. And so, yeah, I mean, this is a printer and it's, it's very rare for me. I don't think I've ever recommended a printer as an investment. I just thought of just getting a really good cheap one and then just paying for the, the ink when I need to. But with this model, Oh, this is an investment and again if you're just printing every once in a while you have other options instead of this one but this is for people who find themselves you know refilling uh, their printers multiple times per year especially for small businesses or even if you're in an occupation like maybe you're a realtor and you just print a bunch of stuff this is telling made for people like that who just need high output throughout the year but also who don't want to spend a lot of money so yeah this is the new HP never stop printer I can recommend it there'll be a link down below in the description so you can check out this printer for yourself and maybe pick one up. But like always, guys, I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.